see if we can do this again. Our fam i hope everybody's having a blessed day out there today we're gonna do something really awesome but probably really stupid to do to your stock internal factory sealed 57 with factory ring gap we're gonna go try to hit 18 pounds of boost maybe more with frostbite so stay tuned before we get started guys definitely give the video a thumbs up share the video comment down below what you think and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet hit that subscribe button it's free help a brother out help out the mopar channels obviously to torque storm superchargers as you guys know we just switched over to the new ts84 which is the new bigger mid-size unit that they just came out with that fits in the factory brackets of the original torque storm supercharger and that is how we're making Tremendous boost now. Also want to give FRP Flying Ryan Performance a massive thank you, thumbs up. He is an absolute man. As he is the biggest part of why this truck is surviving this right now and taking the amount of boost that we are shoving down Frostbite's throat. So huge thanks to FRP. He's keeping this thing alive and hats off. And on another note, he's not afraid. He literally said, we're going to moon boost this thing and give it a full send and see what happens. And I totally agree. Also want to give a huge thanks to my transmission man, John Cope at CRT. We're running his built 46 RE transmission in Frostbite. And that is the reason that we are able to put this power to the ground that we are making. If it was not for that transmission or John, this truck would definitely not be doing what it's doing. And I know a lot of you guys are wanting to know how are we making this much boost and it's surviving so far. Well, it's no doubt that it's borrowed time for sure if we probably keep beating on it, but logs and everything looks very good. So we should be able to make a couple solid A to B passes and they should be ridiculous. But how we're doing it? Well, again, FRP tuning. That is number one thing. The, 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 <laughs> the proof is in the tune. That's all I can say. Now, we're also running E85. Now, all these logs and data pools that you guys are seeing, just like the one today, is on pump E85 from the Speedway gas station. I've had good luck with our fuel. It works great. Um, now, when we go to the track, I will probably put some canned fuel in it just to know that you know everything is kosher, but the truck runs great on pump E85 from Speedway. It usually tests out at 82, 3% or better every time, and I've had great luck with it. Now, the other thing that's helping us is I run something called VP Speed Sauce. It's from VP Racing, which is the same company that makes all the race fuels out there and everything like that. Well, they have a new version of meth injection fluid that is actually an ethanol slash water-based mixture and this is what it looks like this is what i run um, so obviously on frostbite we have a meth injection kit from snow and this is 80 percent ethanol 20 percent water 
It's called Speed Sauce Plus. It raises octane tremendously. It adds a little extra fuel and a lot of extra cooling. This right here is another big reason of how we're able to keep the truck alive on enormous amount of boost on stock pistons. So that's kind of where the secret formula is working for us as of right now. Um, the truck is pretty much dialed in right now on the tune and the amount of boost that we're running. So we're going to hit the track soon. We were going to go last weekend, but we couldn't make it. It got rained out. So we're hoping to go this weekend and get a new record pass. So fingers crossed that we can get to the track. Um, Frostbite's pretty much ready and it is ripping. Today we are going to go data log some more with old Frostbite and the new TS-84 Torque Storm. And uh, Flying Ryan just sent us a new tune, told us to keep it below 6,800, see where we're at. Um, fully expecting us to hit 18 pounds of boost, maybe a little more on this uh, test log. So, well that said, let's get a cold start. Let's go make 18 pounds of boost on a stock 5.7 Hemi. All right, we're gonna let it warm up a little bit. Head down the road and go see if we can uh, hit 18 pounds. All right, guys. Let's uh, go try out this log. See if we can hit. pretty cold so we're trying to get it up to temperature
punch it right here and see what we can hit real quick. So I hope that kind of gives you guys an idea of what's going on, how we're doing it, what we're using, and I hope you guys enjoy the content. Again, hit the thumbs up button, comment down below what you think, subscribe to the channel, and as always, stay safe out there. We'll see you guys on the next one.